Good morning everybody, Sawadee Krab from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm finally here. I left the plane the last time I saw you guys and I went past immigration which was pretty confusing. Like I thought and I knew that I didn't actually have to sign up ahead of time for a visa and it looks like um, there are there's another line that has like a, a visa upon arrival and you actually have to bring a photograph of yourself. I thought I had to do that so I was freaking out a little bit but it turns out it wasn't. I ended up having to go to a priority lane and then after that got to baggage claim where I'm at right now. Got my baggages. I was so worried that I was going to have another South Africa mishap. What happened last year when my bags didn't come in time and it came like two days after the fact and I had to go shopping for clothes, etc. So my problem now is to one, exchange money, two, get my pocket Wi-Fi that I had previously signed up for and pre-purchased and then figure out how to use Grab Taxi to get to my hotel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome. I'm a travel vlogger currently here in Bangkok, Thailand doing Vlogmas where I'm vlogging every day until Christmas Eve and doing an, also a roam around the world where I take you guys along with me on my travels. But um, I'm excited to show you guys Bangkok. I'm excited to go to Miss Universe prelims and finals night and just kind of exploring all around Bangkok. So I finally got out of the airport. I feel like having all of this stuff has just been so hard. I had gifts for my godmother, which I got stopped at customs because I didn't declare it, which I had to like go and kind of explain what that was. And then just lugging everything between the different levels. Um, and then I was trying to use Grab, but like my current method of payment isn't being accepted, so I have to pay with cash. It was really frustrating, but finally I have a Grab car, which is the equivalent of Uber here, and then I'll head over to the hotel soon. just got to the hotel right here. It's such a cute hotel. Um, it's all, I'm trying to be quiet too, but I got this like welcome drink. Looks like that. You guys, I just checked in to my room and this is so cute. I'm staying at this boutique hotel called Volve. It is in the Thonglo, Thonglor, Thonglo. I've, I've heard it pronounced two different ways, uh, Thonglo neighborhood. And it's just like a small boutique hotel. And this was kind of like a last minute booking this hotel, but let me give you guys a room tour. So it's fairly small. Um, walking in, we have like a little mini bar area where we have just an assortment of cups, tea, water, um, the water, tea, coffee is free. And then in here there's like several different, uh, kind of drawers. The kettle is right over here. I have no idea what's here. Just <laughs> an empty. The refrigerator is right over here. Has a few different things, but going into like the full scape of the room, it looks like this. There's like a little padded bench seating area right over here where two of my bags are, but it kind of has this like marble fabric. And then there's a bedside table right over here where it has several different functions. You have plugs, you have um, kind of like the switch for the light. And then the bed is right over here. It looks like a really big and comfortable king size bed. The view from outside. Wow has like a view of a lot of greenery, which is really pretty to see. There is the sitting area for kind of an office space, a desk space, really cute table, chair, and then a flat screen TV that is like literally flush against the wall right over here. And then I have no idea what's here. I'm assuming this is a closet. It is. And then moving to the side back here is the bathroom. It's not a large bathroom and I think it's pretty perfect for just me. Let's see, I'm assuming this is the lighting. Yep. So we have, it's a very really minimalistic aesthetic to it. Look, look at these clean lines. And then we have a mirror. 
I love the wood detail to the back right here. And then we have a walk-in shower, has kind of like that more handheld, and then the uh, rain shower that is flush at the ceiling. And then the toilet with a shelf on the side that has a whole bunch of different um, like towels and, and tissue paper. What? They have Malin and Getz products here. I'm gonna do a trick. I'm gonna try to like hide these four and then see if they would replenish them. But there's also soap, shower cap, cotton buds, and oh, a sanitary bag. Yes, this is the room. I am happy to say that I'm finally here. Oh, just sat down. Oh, and they gave me a little card with my name in it. I was talking about this on my Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram yet, follow me there so that you guys can see more up-to-date stuff. But the front desk lady who was really, really nice gave me this little map here of the neighborhood that we're in and all of the different things to do, uh, food options nearby, like this neighborhood. I feel like has a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to the Miss Universe preliminary competition tomorrow, so, and I believe I have to pick up my tickets ahead of time, so I might just chill for a little bit, but then I'm gonna probably take the BTS, which is their train station, all the way to this place called Ite, Ite Wan? Isetan Central World, which is in the Siam, Siam. Uh, stop which is like a five or six different stops. I heard it takes like 20 minutes to get there But um, I might just chill for a bit. I feel a little like just kind of dirty right now I need to wash my hair. It's been a while. So I was attempting I was going to attempt to take a nap, but that didn't happen So uh, took a shower and then got ready I realized that red shirt that I've been wearing has appeared in three consecutive vlogs 10 11 and 12 which is today so <laughs> wearing something different for you guys but i'm gonna head over to go grab my miss universe tickets i have to pick them up in person apparently and there are like different stations like um similar to Ticketmaster. back in the u.s there's this thing called thai ticket major which has 13 different locations and i'm gonna go to the one um in the cm location ready to explore God. Look how huge this mall is and those like ornaments hanging from the ceiling. They're huge You guys I've been on a goose chase trying to find the ticket company that Has the Miss Universe tickets like I've been going everywhere in this mall and this mall is huge. I feel like I'm like getting really hungry but we'll get there after like an hour, I found it. So that was fairly painless, just getting my tickets. I hid it in my fanny pack so I don't lose it because it's like kind of a cash. If you lose it, then you're kind of screwed. But um, I wasn't able to get my preliminary ticket because I think the cutoff date to pick it up ahead of time was yesterday and I just got here today so otherwise I have to just go to the venue between 3 and 7 tomorrow to pick it up um, which is fine I'll just it just ensures me to get there pretty early but anyways first things first I need to find food because I'm like so hungry so I stumbled into this mall where they had like many different types of restaurants sprinkled throughout the floor and I think I'm at this place called Ross Niyam, Niyom, which is like a Thai street food and noodles restaurant, but it's like not a, it's not on the street. Um, I ended up getting this. So this is like a stir fry of pork, chicken, and peppers and uh, basil with some rice. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on the spicy side. That's okay. And then I have some soup with some Thai chili sauce or some sort of vinegar. I'm not sure, but. I had to get water. I'm so dehydrated right now. So I got a drink up and a Coke. Before I head back to my room, I did go to 7-Eleven, so I'll do a haul, but here is kind of like the lobby that I wanted to show you guys earlier, but there was somebody like just here working. So it's a really cool space. 
where they have like a whole bunch of different um, areas to just kind of work and then there's like little outlet plugs here for if you have your laptop and then Right here is like the sitting area with like the greenery. Thought I would do a little haul video of the things that I got from 7-Eleven. Luckily the 7-Eleven is super close to the BTS station. Um, and the BTS station has been like within like a three minute walk from my hotel. The things that I have are more so things that just to have around the hotel room to snack on while I'm here. I'm not saying that this is going to be all I'm eating while I'm on vacation, obviously not. Some shrimp chips. This is from Calbee and I've I, I love Calbee, but this is like a different um, packaging. So my friend Say swears by this vitamin C drink and she drinks this whenever she feels like she's gonna be sick. I don't think I'm getting sick, but I do like the thought of it being more of a precaution. And then I got these bubble jelly yo-yos, whatever this is. This Honestly, the reason why I got this was because it reminded me of a grape gummy candy that I got from Japan. I got two smaller Cokes, and then lastly, this raspberry candy thing. Um, it's in Thai, so I have no idea what it says. If you speak Thai, let me know. I think what I'm going to do is edit day 11's vlog, because um, now that I'm a day ahead, really, I'm still in the same schedule as back home, so I have actually two vlogs to edit. But yeah, today, like, I feel like after 28 hours of travel, I feel like I deserve a little bit of, like, rest and not... I mean, me going out to the mall was so tiring for me because I'm like, right now it feels like 3 a.m. in my body. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to explore some more of Bangkok in the coming days. You guys, what a fail after that last clip. I decided that I was just going to, well, one, I was exhausted, but I th thought I was just gonna like take a 10 minute nap and that 10 minute nap turned into a four hour nap. It's nine o'clock right now and that was like four hours ago. <laughs> was I didn't even get to editing, but I thought I would end the day <laughs> with tea time with you guys. And today is day 12, so we'll find 12 books right over here. I can't believe I brought this all the way with me from the States. Ooh. It is called Red Red Velvet Cake. Matches my hair because there's like little red specks inside of this little tea bag. It is rich, creamy, and chocolate. It has black tea, milk chocolate, white chocolate, sprinkles, confectioner's glaze, natural and artificial coloring, beetroot powder. Seems like it'll be like more of a delectable tea. For real though, after this, I'm gonna like just edit and upload the vlog and then go back to sleep. Ooh, this one smells really, really strong. Not sure if I like that, so. It's funny, it's the same kettle as the one I have at home. I'm gonna let this steep for a little bit. I thought I would explain what tomorrow is going to be like. Tomorrow, it is day 13 of Vlogmas, and December 13 is the Miss Universe preliminary competition, and that is, I got tickets to see that live, and I have really, really good tickets to see it. It's going to be at this arena called the Impact Arena, which is about, I want to say, a bit, a bit of ways away, an hour to get there, and it's not available directly from like a BTS line. So I'm going to probably have to just take a grab taxi. I'm really excited because it's going to be 93 women that are, are going to be participating in this preliminary competition and they're going to be doing, I believe, an opening kind of introduction and then evening gown competition and um, swimsuit competition. I think after tomorrow's preliminary competition, I'm going to try and do a video on who I think are going to be the top 20 because they changed the format. Um, for this year's finals. It's okay, so this has been steeping for quite some time. I'm gonna remove the steeper. Right off the bat, smelling it, it does have that rich chocolatey scent to it, which is really strange. It actually, for some reason, to me smells like a raspberry truffle, even though I didn't see that there was any raspberry on this ingredients list, but 
not my favorite. I'm one of those people though that does not like candy, baked goods, just general food scented candles and I feel like this is the equivalent of what a food scented candle would be. See you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. It helps up my channel. Subscribe to see more travel vlogs and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!